Well, chances are you or somebody you know has been a victim of banking fraud. It's a multi billion dollar illegal business. But what you may not know, if someone accesses your account and steals your money and you don't notify your bank in time, you may not get your money back. 8 News Now anchor Christiane Klein is on your side tonight with a warning about what you need to know to protect your hard earned cash. Thieves are getting sneakier and sneakier, which means you need to be more vigilant. From micro deposits or withdrawals where a small amount of cash is deposited or removed to see if you'll notice, to attacking your least used account, like savings accounts. Consumer experts say bank customers tend to check their balance and savings less often than they're checking, and thieves can score a bigger payday without getting noticed. Fraudsters are out there trying to get that information. So you, you, it's really a partnership of a customer protecting their account information the same as they would protect cash. But there's another reason your savings account may be more vulnerable. Banks can't monitor it in the same way as your checking or debit account. Your traditional checking account is transactional, and you usually have a set pattern of transactions. And so there's algorithms, and if something looks amiss, you're going to get an alert. With a savings account, your a customer uses that differently, so there may not be a set pattern that can be monitored. If your money is stolen from one of your accounts, you only have 60 days to report the fraud. If you don't notice it for months or even years, you could be on the hook for the stolen cash. The potential is that all that money can be lost to you. So that, that's, that's the potential. So you really want to monitor those accounts and report anything suspicious as soon as possible. Thieves are also attacking accounts in new and creative ways, from phishing emails and texts to pop-ups online. Hacking Wi Fi hotspots, apps, or stealing your personal information. There doesn't seem to be a limit to what fraudsters will try. And, and they're really tricky, and, and it's really the information that they're after. So um, protect that information. There are ways to protect yourself. The Nevada Bankers Association says be sure to put alerts on your accounts so you'll be notified if they dip below a certain level or if transactions are more than a set amount. And never give out your personal information, pins and passwords. If you receive a suspicious call saying it's from your bank, hang up and call the bank yourself. That extra step is worth your financial protection. Christiane Klein, 8 News Now. Now, we do have more information on how to protect your accounts. You can go to 8 News Now, our app, or our website at lasvegasnow.com, and then just look for Christiane's report.